welcome to another edition of Arizona Express. I'm your host, Matt Eismere, and joining us today is my guest, Mark Greenewald. How's it going, Mark? Going great. Good to be here. Good. So, let's just jump right into it. You're a body painter? I have been known to do a little bit of body painting, yes, A little bit true. from time yeah. to time? Guilty. All right, so what, what all falls under the mantle of body painting? Well, obviously, it's, uh, it's art uh, in its most basic form, but it's uh, basically the, cam the canvas has changed to the human body. So, um, in some forms, it's makeup. You know, that's a form of, of body painting. And then, of course, a little bit more extreme is face painting. And then just taking it to the next level is uh, doing the full body. So. so, obviously, the difference when you're doing it on people is that really nothing you're ever going to do is going to be permanent. So, I mean, does that change, you know, at all how your artistic vision of it, things go is that you're making something that is going to be temporary yeah it kind of makes it special in that it is uh you, you know it's something you only see, can see live for that one one point in time uh the beauty of it is uh photography is what ends up making it be something that's that's the permanent art form right. ironically that ends up being the um the, the the part that that stays but uh yeah everything i do and basically all the body paintings i've ever done are gone they're washed <laughs> down the toilet right, right. now so the shower, I should say. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's a little different than uh, most art forms. I mean, for me, that would be kind of like, oh, like there goes all my hours of work just washed away. Yeah. So but, the photography that makes. But all yeah, the more photography. Important. I mean, you got to make sure that uh, you have uh, you got one shot to get it right. That, the other thing that's interesting about it is, uh, like, if you want to paint on a canvas, you can start today and eh, come back to it next right. week or, or whatever. With body painting, when you start, you got to finish. You know. Now, how uh, long does it usually take when you're? when you're doing that. Like Two hours is pretty typical, That's, but there's a lot more time that goes into it. Obviously, uh, prep and, and actually finding, uh, you, you gotta coordinate. It's not like you can just start painting. You need to have a, a model to paint. Right. So you, you need to coordinate that. You have, a, have to space. Um, you know, you have to have the right supplies, sometimes props and those type of things. So you really have to produce the image is really what it comes down to. What's been your favorite uh, piece of work that you've done so far? Uh, they're like kids. Uh, actually, uh, they're, they're all different, you know, so I like different ones for different reasons. Um, some that have garnered a lot of attention is uh, there was the traveling exhibit Body Worlds where I did Mr. Anatomy, so I was painting the muscle um, structure on, on a guy for, uh, and then he went around town promoting yeah. it. That was kind of cool. There's one picture I did for a, um, a New Year's Eve event that was just a cheetah, um, and it was just a very sexy painting for a New Year's Eve party, and a lot of people seem to like that one a lot. So it's, it's kind of, there's a few that I've done that are um, more for me that are, um, uh, I forget the word for it, but uh, where, where you try to trick the eye to make it seem like, uh, you know, clothing obviously is one thing right. to put clothing on someone and, uh, and that type of thing. But they're, they're just all different, so it's hard to pick one. Gotcha. Um, I think we actually have some pictures of some of the things you've worked on here. So we'll go ahead and take a look at those uh, here. But if you want to just go ahead and, Tell me what we're seeing. So. What we're seeing right now is uh, some pictures that I have from the Villicon Chronicles, which is a movie project that I worked on. Um, and this was uh, a film set that took place in uh, a couple of locations. We were at the Imperial Sand Dunes for this shot right here. And then we also uh, rented out the Grand Canyon Caverns uh, up in northern Arizona. And then we did some green screen work also. Uh, this this project's still in post production right now, but my my scope of it was to uh, to paint the faces and to come up with the tribal designs for for each of the different. These are these are Wiccan characters, is what their yeah. their names are. They look and, pretty badass. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing one of those here later today. Nice. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go to our break here, and then when we come back, we'll actually start doing some of this uh, live here. So. Fantastic. We'll be right back. Oh, no. 
Welcome back to Arizona Express. I'm your host, Matt Eisner, and we're still with Mark Greenewalt. Mark, who all do we got with us right now? Uh, today we have with us for our guinea pigs to do this little uh, demonstration. We have Victoria Page, and we have Rosanna Robertson, and back here is our master costumer who made all these leather outfits. This is Kevin Spidell. Hey, how's it going, guys? So, go ahead and run me through the process of what all we're going to be doing here today. We're going to try as best we can to recreate actually what we did in the film. So it's going to be a, a red face paint, and it's actually a, a body paint that, uh, uh, that we're using that's water-based today. We actually used alcohol-based for the film so it would last a little longer today. We made it easy on them so they actually wash it off <laughs> a little easier. And then um, it's got some tribal designs that will be done with uh, you know, brush. And then um, we're going to do one little temporary tattoo stencil that's on, uh, on the side of one of them. Very cool. Well, let's get started. All right. All right. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, everything looks pretty great. Uh, thanks for coming on board. So if people want to get in touch with you, what would be the best way for them to do that? The best way is just to go to my website, which is markgreenwalt.com. Easy enough to remember. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, that's it for Arizona Express. Have a good one.